da 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 our Make Ready Special, Silly Super Awesome Mini Maker Show, Episode 6. Ever wanted to design your own cool t-shirt? Or maybe wanted to put your awesome doodle on a bunch of different stuff like birthday cards, jackets, or your backpack? Today we'll show you how to do all of that with super simple screen printing. Let's go! For this screen-tastic build, we will need a wooden frame from scratch or a photo frame, sheer fabric or screen printing fabric, or buy a screen printing frame pre-made from the art store fabric or regular screen printing ink, a strong rubber squeegee, removable paint on screen filler or permanent Mod Podge, a cool design you want to put on stuff, scissors, tape, and finally something to put your designs on. So what's all the fuss about anyways? Screen printing or serigraphy is all about getting your design onto something in ink or paint using a piece of fabric stretched tight across a frame. It's used for all sorts of things, from posters to t-shirts to remote controls. The drawing is transferred to a fabric using a kind of glue that dries and blocks up tiny holes in the fabric only where your design isn't, allowing the ink to seep through the holes only where it's needed, reproducing your design wherever you want, again and again. If you don't have a pre-made screen, it's time to make one! To correctly mount your fabric, tack one corner down, pull tight on the opposite corner, and tack that down. Then staple along the side and repeat around the edge, constantly pulling and tightening. Hammering in your staples will make it extra tight. The tighter it is, the easier it will be to work with. All right! Seal the corners, edges, and bottom with waterproof tape, and you should be ready for the next step. Now to pick out what you want to print. Small text and thin lines are hard to get right, so make your design simple and bold. If it's a t-shirt, you want people to see it, so go big! But remember, this has to fit inside your screen. Cut your design out on a piece of paper and lay it over the bottom of the screen, flipped around so it's mirrored. Once your design is in place and how you want it, carefully paint around all the edges with screen filler, using your design as a negative stencil. Just be sure you don't stick your paper to the screen. Do note, specialized screen fillers have solvents you can use to remove the design from the screen if you want something else on it. But if you're using Mod Podge for the filler, it's not gonna come off. So make sure it's exactly how you want it. Let this dry for a bit, do a spot check for holes, then you should be ready to start printing. This will get messy, so make sure and put down some paper. Take your item to be printed and secure it flat against your workspace. If it's a shirt, make sure it's wrinkle free and that you have some paper between the front and back of the shirt in case it bleeds through. Now carefully place the screen on your item, making sure to put it right where you want your image to go. When you're ready, put a big line of ink along the top or side of the screen. Using your squeegee, gently drag some ink across the screen to flood it, then bring the squeegee back to the start and drag it firmly across in one smooth stroke to push the ink through evenly. This is kind of tricky and will take some practice, but when you get it, you'll be so proud! There's lots more you can do, like high quality graphics using light sensitive emulsion, two or more colors using multiple lined up screens, or even pop up secret ninja faces! Hiya! That's all we can fit in today's show. Remember to express yourself, don't be afraid to try new things, and get out there and make something! <laughs> Blah, 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 blah.